on the way home now from work. That's the opera house behind me. Okay, so I'm here at 312 UAV. It's a hobby shop drone specialty all around awesome anything electronic. They are helping. This is Alex and John. This man just soldered together wires for me to make this thing into the electric board that we've been talking about. And uh, look at this. These are all drones, all mini drones here. These guys, if you're in Chicago or around Chicago or just need to order anything, look, they literally have quite possibly anything you would need. Uh, so you'll definitely see more vlogs from this place. And just help me put together all of this stuff, which theoretically, if this all goes well, the rest of this vlog will be me building this thing into an electric board. All right, so those guys are amazing. Alex is, uh, is the proprietor. Uh, of said store definitely check them out. I'm gonna link their stuff down down there in the description box um, Also like them on Facebook. I'm also gonna link that down there in the description It's really cool to see again small companies run by people that know what they're doing and they're fantastic They're really nice to chat to you know, like I went in there tonight because he was uh, customizing a wire for me um, with different connectors on it to kind of make this whole thing go with the skateboard and I ended up just sitting and chatting you know they, they're just good people and I want to support good people with small businesses so again check out their website they have literally everything you could think of everything from tiny little drones that you just use for fun to the big DJI drones that you would want to use for like real photography and stuff and the prices are unbelievable they really, really, really take care of the customer. So honestly, if you're looking to buy a present for somebody this Christmas, check them out. I'm gonna be doing some reviews for their products. I know Alex has been talking about, and this is between me and you guys. He's actually helping me with this skateboard, not only because he's a nice guy, but also because he wants to put together a do-it-yourself kit that is super simple. So that's gonna be cool. And I'm definitely gonna announce that when he's done with that. Um, but again, yeah, like any kind of drone related or photography based techie thing, they have the Steadicam, the Osmo DJI Steadicam that I definitely want to look into for vlogging because uh, I feel like that'd be really cool. You know, this thing is amazing, but it's not a Steadicam. Uh, this would still be my main vlogging camera, but just, you know, for more fun. Possibly I'll do a review on that. But yeah, look forward to some really cool collaborations with those guys. Again, like them on Facebook, check them out, check out their website. And, uh, and yeah, so now I'm at the gym. I'm excited to get a good workout in. I've needed a good workout. I had a busy day at the Opera House, but it was a great day. It was a great day. Really positive things. I did really well in my rehearsals. I'm really happy with that stuff. I'm, I've been working really hard. I got Mega Vlog out, which is a huge relief, but Let's get to the gym. Today was a really great day. Got a lot done, all that stuff, that's fine. All except for one part. It happened on my way home from work. I was on my way home and I passed this guy. This is one month if you would have done that with me. This guy. Now this jackass was on his bike, basically chasing or harassing a woman and a child. I don't have footage of his face but that's only because I was too busy calling the cops. I should have gotten footage of his face because this man does not deserve privacy for what he did. I don't mean to make this too heavy, and if you don't want to hear this stuff, just turn the vlog off now and I'll see you guys tomorrow or at the next vlog. That's fine, but I just felt like, I felt the need to say something because this guy was very obviously either this woman's husband or ex-husband and the child was their child. He was very blatantly harassing the woman and the child was terrified. I passed them on my skateboard. I immediately turned around to follow them because I was nervous he was gonna do something stupid or I guess more stupid than what he was already doing. And he saw me take my phone out and I think he thought I was recording him, which at the time I wasn't, I should have, but I wasn't. And he said something to me. I'm a pretty level-headed guy. I wasn't. I haven't always been that way. There was a time in my life when things would have gotten physical a lot faster, but I don't. I'm not like that anymore because I've, you know, I'm an adult. <laughs> uh, 
for lack of a better description. But, you know, he said something to me, and I just, you know, I waved him off. I didn't say anything. This woman and this child were so scared that they had to run into a marshal's that, that was like two blocks down just to get into a public place where he couldn't do anything. I had such rage that filled my body so quickly. I understand couples fight. That's fine. I think it's obviously, it's very normal. People fight in general. But there is never a reason to involve a child, ever, in any circumstance. Especially a little child. Especially one that is still at an age when there is some innocence. The, the sad truth about life is that we start out, we are innocent, we are nothing but optimistic, and then we slowly become more pessimistic and we lose our innocence. That's just what life is. Obviously, depending on the person, it's varying degrees of pessimism, but everyone gets more pessimistic as they get older because they learn more about life and they learn more about what the truth of life is and all, you know. But those few years that a kid has when they're just happy with life because they don't know for the most part you know the sorrows and heartache that go along with life and I know there are definitely exceptions to this a lot of kids have seen some horrible things but for the most part but that doesn't change the fact that every kid does have at least that opportunity to have those years where they are aware of life and they're aware that they are a person they're not like a, a tiny baby they're a kid where they're just happy, like their whole life revolves around going to school and coming home, and then summer, you know, summer vacation. So at that age, when your life revolves around that, revolves around school, home, parents, your f a few friends, and summer vacation, and like, that's it. There's not, you don't pay, you're not paying taxes, you don't have to worry about paying rent, like, it's just that. When that is the reality, things like this, where you watch your parents fight, or you witness something like this, it's way worse for you than it is for an adult. Because as you get older, you're able to cope with these types of things more because you know the reality of life, which is people fight. But when you're that age, you don't understand that. Which is why, and I know some people think it's a cliche, kids think it's their fault. And you could clearly see from this little girl's face that she was absolutely terrified of what was happening. She had no idea why it was happening, at least from what I saw. She had no idea why it was happening. She was very confused and very scared. And that's the part that infuriated me the most. Yes, he was being an asshole to this woman. And again, I don't know their relationship. I don't know what was going on. I don't think there's ever an excuse to do something like that or to talk to somebody like that. There's never an excuse to disrespect a woman like that. There's never an excuse to disrespect anybody like that in that type of situation. I very easily could have gone after this guy when he screamed at me, which is what he did. He screamed at me when he saw me take my phone out. He thought I was going to try and take some videos of them or whatever. Little did he know I was calling the police, but I didn't. And it's because I'm an adult. It's because I'm not... I'm not in high school anymore. I'm not in college. Like, you know, I went, I went through those years and then I grew up and I realized that that's a waste of time and immature. That being said, I definitely still have a temper. There are those scenarios where you have to protect somebody you're with or whatever. But just, you know, beyond that stuff, beyond the normal stuff, when a grown man who has a child acts like that, it makes me furious. Like seeing red angry and although i do have a short fuse sometimes i feel like i'm very in touch with kind of my feelings and i can talk about stuff but it's that type of anger where i just see red and so it took everything i had to not just go after this person it took everything i had to just take a breath pick up my phone and calmly call the police and i'm not saying this as like a you know good for me look what i did i just I needed to talk about this and I needed to vent about this because I was so mad. And this man, I called the police four times maybe. It took him two hours to get there. This woman and her child were sitting in marshals for those two hours. I actually sat across in a hotel that kind of overlooked that corner where marshals is and he rode around on his bike outside of Marshall's, just sitting there waiting for them. He then parked his bike across the street, went into Marshall's, and the Marshall's shares a building with TJ Maxx. I was actually standing with the valets of the hotel, and we were like watching him because he was acting like a psychopath. Went in, and you could see him go down to the Marshall's. A few minutes later, he came up and he ran up to the TJ Maxx, and then he ran down the stairs, clearly looking for them, 
hopefully either they were hiding or maybe there's a back entrance to the TJ Maxx or something and the people were really nice and let them, you know, get out. I don't know. I don't know. But then he came out, got on his bike, waited for a while longer, and then rode off. He rode off and maybe four minutes later the cops got there. And yes, I was frustrated with the police because I called four times and every time I said there is a woman and a child in jeopardy and there is a manic man chasing them. I know cops have to deal with a lot. That's neither here nor there. I'm definitely not happy, but whatever. It's just that like those types of people should have to answer for that type of thing. And in all honesty, there's very little that can be done. Even if I had gotten him on camera shouting at this woman, legally, very little that could have been done. So I don't know. I just, I wish I had gotten his face. I wish I had gotten his name. I don't know if I would have put his name on this vlog. I definitely would have put his face because this man deserves to have his face out there for the crap he was putting this woman and this child through. And again, I know I don't know their relationship. I know it's always two-sided. I know there's always two stories, whether one is more justified than the other. There's always two stories when two adults have an argument. I get that. But there's never an excuse to chase anyone down the street, especially when there's a little child. Today was such a good day, and then that happened. Like, I was having such a good day. Like, I had a great day at work, the skateboards coming together, it was a beautiful day out. I just feel like these things I can talk to you guys about, you know? It's, I've found, if, if these vlogs are for no other reason, it's for me to vent and talk about ideas, talk about my feelings, just talk about stuff. So. There it is. Sorry to get a little heavy on you there. Just wanted to throw some honesty, I guess. But I know I said I didn't want to get behind again. And I know I am by one vlog. But it will be coming out a few hours after this one is out. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll keep this train going. I'm getting close to 100, I realized. I think this is like 70. I think it's something like that or 65. It's in the six, high, middle to high 60s, I think. So about a month from now-ish, we'll be almost at 100, or we'll be hitting 100. So I gotta think of something really cool for 100. I'm, I wanna do something cool for the 100th episode, and I wanna do something cool for when I hit 1,000 uh, subscribers, because right now I'm at like 960 or something. So that being said, share the video, or share a better vlog. This vlog is kinda negative. Find your favorite vlog. That's a good one, find your favorite vlog and share it and then like if it's on Twitter or Facebook or whatever tag me in the sharing of it so I can see which one your favorite is but anyway that being said comment down below let me know what you think of this situation let me know kind of what you feel what you would feel if you saw this maybe you have an experience in something like this either seeing it or being experienced and I get this is very personal you don't have to comment I just like having a dialogue with you guys and I love your comments I always read your comments so yeah, if you, I know it's again a negative video, but if you liked the video, hit the like button, shoot me a comment down below, share the video, and I promise the next vlog will be happy. Unless I see another jackass doing something like this, because then it's just going to be like this again. <laughs>